I've been sitting here and just thinking about forgiveness and it's been a deep journey for me because I've had to look into the shadows of my own heart and understand how I've hurt other people and forgive myself um, for any wrong acts that I might have committed or any pain that I might have caused other people. I had to clear myself of my own shame, my own guilt, and have compassion for myself and forgiveness for myself. And that actually gave me the power to forgive other people. Um, and it came through me releasing myself and having the ability and understanding of how important it is to release other people. And that, you know, none of us are perfect. We're in this together, learning how to love. Um, and forgiveness is not really about the other person, but it's really about us. To my queens out there that have been cheated on by their men, it's not your fault. Stop making it your fault. To my kings out there that have been cheated on by their women, stop making it your fault yes women cheat too now here's the other thing sex is one of the strongest forces in the universe that we have to deal with this is about self-mastery it's not even about what's going on in the relationship this is about self-mastery okay so if you think just because somebody says they love you or you think just because they want to be in a relationship with you that that means that that's going to dissolve all their traumas that they come with <laughs> you know what i'm saying and that they're going to know how to deal with their traumas now nah, people gonna mess up so here's the thing make sure you're with someone that is interested in mastering themselves and everything that they come with and I know that there's a lot of pain that comes with infidelity but relationships is a spiritual endeavor just make sure you're with somebody who's worth it I had a wise woman tell me once Jada the key to love is learning how to be devastated and I'll never forget when she told me that, because I was like, well, love's not supposed to hurt. Man, I've learned over the years that that's quite a myth. Deep love is excruciating. If you plan on loving a person, then you better learn to deal with disappointments and devastations that come with giving our hearts over to others. Even if we had the most perfect relationship, the, the, the relationship of our dreams, one day, one of us is going to leave this planet before the other, which is the ultimate devastation. So there's no escape. There's no escape. With love comes devastation. Now, I want to make something clear. I talked about how love and devastation go hand in hand because it's impossible to get inside of a relationship and think that to find the depths of relating, that you can find the depths of relating without being challenged with pain. Now, we also have to have the clarity to understand who is worthy of us walking with them through certain devastations. And when it's time to walk away, because I'm gonna let you know something, not everybody you love is meant to be the person you build a life with. Okay? Sometimes you gotta love them from over there because you can love them, but sometimes it's gotta be from over there. But you can't love somebody else more than you love you, ever.